Hi, this is Harish Trista from Pinal Technical College and I am here to talk about job sequencing. Well, job sequencing is the arrangement of tasks required to be carried out sequentially. This is for a standard greedy algorithm problem to find maximum profit from the provided jobs by first finding optimal jobs. We can follow some steps for solving the job sequencing problem. First, we have to arrange the profit given in descending order. After that, we initialize the results sequence as first job in sorted order. And we do the uh, following for remaining n minus 1 jobs. If the current job can fit in the current sequence without missing the deadline, add current job to the result. For this, we use the formula key equals to minimum or among d max comma d and the value of key is checked whether it is greater or equal to 1 where 1 is the 1 represents the deadline which must be at least 1 if the job does not fit the result subtract 1 from the value of k and try to fit in the result else we ignore the result and we move forward now for the demonstration of job sequencing problem I have taken a problem having five jobs, their deadlines and the profit respectively. And in the solution I have sorted the profit in descending order. After that I have got the next table having uh, 125, 105, 90, 80 and 75 profit in descending order and their deadline and job is arranged respectively. After sorting the profit in descending order we get the new table. And according to the new table, we take the first job that is job 2 from the new table and we apply the formula um, k equals to minimum among d max and di, where d max is 3 and di is 2, which is the respective uh, deadline of job 2. And minimum among 2 and 3 is 2, so the value of k is 2. For the second condition, k is greater or equal to 1. Yeah, it is true. 1 stands for the minimum deadline and uh, the deadline must be list 1 and we fill the table t2 having t2 with 2 because the value of k is 2 in the same way we take the next job from the sorted table and that is your job first and we apply the same formula that is k goes to d max comma di here d max is 3 and di is 3 for the job first and we get the value of k equals to 3 for the second condition k is true so we fill the table having t3 with job first in the same way we take the next job from sorted table that is job 4 and we apply the same formula for the k and we get value of k equals to 3 here we again check the second condition that is k is greater or equal to 1 yeah it is true but the space in T3 is full. So we do k equals to k minus 1. We get the new value of k equals to 2. Which is also which also satisfies the second condition. But unfortunately T2 is also full again. Again we subtract the value of k with 1. Again check the second condition. That is k is greater or equal to 1. Yeah, it is. So we fill the space of T1 with job 4. Now, since the result table or we can say time table is full for all T1, T2 and T3, we don't go for the further process. But if it was empty, then we would go for that process. Now, from the table above, we get the optimal jobs that is J4, J2 and J1 respectively. And finally, the maximum profit from the optimal jobs are summed up. That is 90 plus 125 plus 105 equals to 295. In this way, we find the optimal jobs and we get the maximum profit from the job sequencing. Thank you for watching this video and heartily thank you to Mr. Kamal Siris sir for providing me this opportunity. This is Harish Rasta. Thank you.